So welcome. And as per usual, I'm going to begin by setting up a safe and sacred space, calling in all of the light and then beginning the activation. So just take a deep breath in and close your eyes. As we call forth the Ascended Masters, your guides, you from the future as an Ascended Master, your team, the energy consciousness that surrounds you in another dimension, your higher self, and any angelic beings of love and light that you work with, we ask them to come forth now and surround you in this safe and sacred space. With your breath and your imagination, just close your eyes and bring all of your energy and your awareness into your heart space. We call it the divine line. It's like a tube of light that flows just in front of your spine. Bringing in all of your energy and awareness into this divine line in a clean, cleared, recalibrated, whole and healed state into this present breath of now and beyond. And we're going to raise your vibration first. So with your imagination, take your awareness all the way down through your legs, down through your root chakra, through the bottoms of your feet, all the way down into the heart of earth, reaching further into the core. And when you get there, we're going to invite you to anchor your roots there, <clears throat> right in the center of earth. And you'll find that behind her is a platform of light. We're going to invite you to step on that platform into the white hot light. This hot light is actually flames that are burning so bright that they actually look like light. And just allow yourself to stay there and have that light take any discord from the day up into the flames, into the source. Releasing your day. Setting all your worries aside. And then let's take that awareness back up your grounding cords, up back through the earth, opening the bottom chakras of your feet, bringing in earth energy up through your legs, through your thighs, up through your root chakra, asking that energy to clean and clear all of your chakras as it goes up through your spine. In, in a way in ser that serves your best and highest good. Taking that earth energy up through the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, your heart, your thymus chakra, your throat, <clears throat> third eye, and the crown. Going all the way through the top of your head, forming a ball of light. And bring your awareness into the center of this ball of light. And then shoot it straight off the top of your head, all the way up and off the planet until you can see the earth and the stars beneath your feet. We're going to take this ball of light even further up, all the way up like a rocket through the light planes, the dark planes, the light planes. You're going to go through a golden plane. Just keep going. Don't try and do this with your mind. Your mind doesn't know how to do this. Just allow your energy to do it for you. Just traveling up. Here you go, getting all the way up to the sixth plane, going through the multicolored layers of rainbow light. This energy will feel a little denser, maybe even a little heavier. You might even lose your ball. That's okay. Just keep going all the way up through the top <clears throat> and keep going all the way until you hit a white iridescent plane of light. This is where source is. This is where we're heading. And with your permission, we're going to ask Creator to bring all of your awareness, energy, vibration, frequencies, and reference points all the way up to the seventh plane, as far and as high as you can go, to the degree that you so choose. And if you'd like that assistance, just say yes, and Creator, it is done. Good. And here we are at the seventh plane. Your vibration, your frequency has already shifted. Going to ask the Creator with your permission again if you'd like to receive unconditional love from the seventh plane, from your source, from the Creator, from your higher self, just say yes. Creator is commanded to download everybody on the recording who will see this recording in any direction of time and all planes of existence, four, seven, and all. Download unconditional love to the degree that they so choose to receive it. Thank you.
Today we're calling forth the Councils of Light. This is a council made up of seven galactic energies. The Lyrians, the Syrians, the Lumerians, the Andromedans. They all end with A-N-S, actually. <laughs> um, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. Today, oh, the Lyrians. Today it's going to be... Um, we're asking the Council of Light to come forward with a new moon activation that will serve the best and highest good of the group that will be attending in all directions of time, 4, 7 and all. And it's going to be the Lyrians and the Arcturians today. They usually pair up when I do this type of work. It's always usually like two. It's not... But it is a collective group at the same time. But I believe the Lyrians and the Arcturians are going to take point today. Yes, okay. So this is how we're going to do it. The Arcturians and the, and the Lyrians are not going to run this energy on you. They're not even going to send you the activations. They are going to send all of the information, the activation, the frequencies, the codes, and the healing straight to you at the level of your higher self, at the seventh plane of the Creator. So any in, uh, information or energy that you're going to be bringing in today is going to happen from source, from that seventh plane, from your higher self, from your team, um, and done only with your agreement and your permission. So creator of all that is, it is commanded to bring in the Lyrian Octarian Council of Light new moon activation for the group um, four, seven and all. And to begin that now, please. Here we go. So they're first going to begin with a scan of your energy. Now remember, this is a group activation. However, the scan will scan you individually to see what it is that you require for this activation. Okay, so the scanning process has begun. And they're beginning with clearing any gold, I'm sorry, clearing all old God wounds. God wounds are places, points in trauma in time. It could be past life. It could be this type where, where you felt rejected by your source for whatever reason. Here we go. And they're pulling that out. Good. And it's being replaced with, it looks like a new template of source clarity and let's um, ask for divine truth and perspective around source as well with that clarity template good four seven and all yes if you'd like to receive that just say yes And now they're removing some old grids um, related to that's weird. It's um Gothic Gothic times. I don't know what that is. I'm seeing like 1800s. I don't know what that is really in Gothic times. Galactic times of persecution. Okay. It's galactic times of persecution. I'm not 100% sure on that. Is that this lifetime? This is this lifetime. Is that like um, entity fallen galactic being attacks on someone in the dimension? No. It's where you astral travel to other dimensions and are attacked. Okay, so that is being addressed. <sighs> okay, woo. So they're releasing the grids that kind of keep you in that loop of trauma 
<laughs> there we go. So those of you who are using soul contracts, um, entities, attacks, um, galactic being attacks when you travel astrally, not necessarily here in the physical dimension, but astrally, everywhere you're using that grid to propel yourself forward uh, in your own evolution, that grid is being um, removed. It's, it's done. I don't want to say removed. Let's complete that grid. Let's complete any contracts, vows, and agreements with that as well. And just Let's just finish it off. Um, and then pff, there we go. There we go. And then remove whatever it is that's not um, working. Good. And then replace it with um, their own unique soul template blueprint and grid for uh, their next step of evolution. Okay. If you'd like to receive that, just say yes, creator's commanded to do that. Okay. So this is really a template and grid replacement for the new moon. So taking out the old, bringing in the new, which is awesome. Um, template and grid replacements can take a while. They can be a little disturbing to your energy as well. Just breathe through any discordant um, experiences, bringing light in. Knowing that everything you're feeling and experiencing right now is in your best and highest good and it's being done by you, on you, for you. So nobody's doing anything to you. We're just holding the space. The council's holding the space. The angelic beings are holding the space. Everybody's holding the space as you kind of retweak those grids. And for those of you who don't know what a grid is, I look at it as like a crocheted um, dolly, if you will. And when you have, let's say you get your, your dolly stained with a cup of tea or something, right? You have certain strands of yarn that are stained by the tea. So instead of washing the whole thing because you could ruin the other pieces, um, we're going in and we're and and cutting out the the stained areas and replacing it with a new piece. So you don't lose the entire grid. You're just use, you're losing the the threads or the pieces that um, are no longer useful um, to the whole thing. And then it's being reweaved for your best and highest good so that you can now function from this new grid as opposed to the old one. That's just kind of our very simple uh, explanation of grid weaving. And they're just still working on that. So just keep it uh, an awareness that it's just still being recalibrated. Okay, so some of you have some of your parents' grids interwoven in your own grids, which means sometimes you'll be functioning from your own uh, parents' set of beliefs and the way in which they do things. Um, so if you are willing, they are asking if if they can pull your parent, parents' grids off of your grid so that you are functioning 100% from your own grid. And if you're um, open to that, just say yes, and Creator is commanded to pull the parental grids off of, the, uh, off of their grids, off of our grids, four, seven and all, take it to the light, returning and retrieving it to its right and perfect place where it can be received. There we go. Infusing the grids, the current grids, with energy of the seventh plane, cleaning it, clearing it, healing and repairing it, and recalibrate it back to their own unique soul's essence. Four, seven, and all, please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so how I see it is like um, you have a layer which is your grid, and they're showing me that you know you had your parents kind of layered on top or interwoven to some degree. And so what that really kind of, for me, looked like was just one of these things, just like whoosh, pulling that off. And now you're left with yours and they're healing, repairing, recalibrating it. So you're just, you know, focusing and, and creating from your own space and not anybody else's uh, ways of doing or being, which will be very helpful for a lot of you.
Okay, and they're asking to update your identity grid, your personality grids, all ways in which you perceive. If you're willing to receive that, just say yes, creator is commanded to update that for seven and all. Good. So this session, just FYI, if you're new to us, this is all what we would call our above work. This is all energy, soul contract, grid work um, that you cannot address um, with mindset work. So this is this is the twofold. I do work that's from above and below. And the above work is all this energy work dealing with the soul contracts, your grid, your templates, the belief systems from your parents that we just lifted off. And then we do below work, which is all your mindset and how you function here in the 3D dimension and what you think and how you feel and what you believe as creating your own reality. And so today, this session is all what we would call above work. And then we would ground that or this session ordinarily in private um, consultations, we would ground it with mindset work and if we, if we get some ideas from um, the council, we'll see if we can't bring in something to help you ground in the 3D world when we're done with this. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now they're receiving information. Okay, so now they're kind of having like a powwow up in the higher realms with your higher self, your team, your guides, and everybody in the group about what it is that you actually want to receive in 2017 or for this new moon phase if you're watching this at a later date. So the new moon is all about bringing in new things, new intentions. And so they're just having a little powwow up there, just kind of looking at what your intentions are and what it is that you want to bring in and reviewing that. Okay. Okay, so before we move on to that, um, the guides are asking if they can heal for some of you, heal the trauma. There's still some trauma in your body, your cells, your energy around the first piece that we did, which was the galactic astral attack energy. So if that's you, <laughs> there it goes, <laughs> that's you and you would like to receive that healing, just say yes. Creator is commanded to download a healing for that trauma. <laughs> And to release the trauma from their body, their cells, their energy, and take it to the light. <clears throat> there it goes. So some of you, <clears throat> the first time around, couldn't fully release that. <clears throat> because it had to be healed and um, have the trauma released. I'm also going to invite you, if you so choose, ask the creator to return and retrieve all soul fragments. Back in a healed, clean, clean... <coughs> excuse me, and <laughs> smooth and really have a clean, cleared, recalibrated, whole and healed state and into this present breath of now and beyond, along with all your power, all your responsibilities, all your soul's gifts, wisdom, tools, and mastery. Returning, retrie retrieving any responsibilities, attachments, lessons, tasks, or karma. Let's get that really clean and clear. There we go. And then update, activate, update, and repattern all of those pieces. If you'd like to receive that, just say yes. Creator is commanded to do that now. There we go. Okay, so for some of you, there's going to be a recalibration of the solar plexus chakra. We're going to ask Creator of all that is if you can clean, clear, heal, repair, recalibrate the solar plexus chakra, remove all cords, all hooks. And any dense, discordant energy that no longer serves, if you'd like to receive that healing, just say yes, creator is commanded to download that or to do that for seven and all. Thank you. Okay. And the council would like to know if they can repair, repair, 
repair the seven major chakras of your system. If you're a uh, game for that, just say yes. Creator is commanded to do that for seven and all. Yeah, clean, clear, heal, and repair. <sighs> Recalibrate to the seven plane, the real sense, that sense for seven and all. If you'd like to receive that, just say yes. Just remember, you can say no if that doesn't resonate with you. You can be like, no thanks, and they won't come in. <laughs> um, if uh, for any reason you're like, well, wait a minute, I said no, and it's still coming in, that's just your higher self overriding you <laughs> and saying, oh, no, you really need that one, <laughs> and you're getting it. So <laughs> just be like, okay, you're cool with that. I said no, but my higher self's overriding me, so we need that, and just allow that to come in. Don't resist it. Um, the more you resist, the more it'll create a block and resistance, and that's a whole different other session. Yeah, take a deep breath in. Okay. All right, they're now balancing, balancing the system. Healing the chakras. Whew and recalibrating it back to your own soul's essence. Yeah, can we harmonize them as well? Okay, and they're gonna harmonize that. Okay, and so some of you have cords that either you're extending to others or others are extending to you in your aura. They would like to know if they can um, cut those cords, release them and dissolve them and take them into the light. If you're all for that, let's just say yes and Creator is commanded to take care of those cords for seven and all. Cut them, dissolve them, remove them and let's do hooks too, thank you. And they like to know if they can heal the aura. Um, and I'm saying they, just because they're sending me the information and trying to get your permission. Um, so it's just a translation piece. So if you would like um, your aura healed and repaired as well, uh, just say yes and Creator is commanded to heal and repair the aura. <clears throat> if everyone in the group, four, seven and all, please. Okay, and so whenever we do a clearing um, anywhere, we're clearing something out, we don't usually like to put something back in. And today they're informing us that they're going to remove any discordant vibrations, energies, and cords, and then fill it with love. So if you'd like to be filled with love, um, Creator is commanded to download love and fill those spaces with love for seven and all. If you'd like to add a different vibration, like joy, bliss, happiness, whatever, um, just make that request and ask them to download that for you as well. Good. All right. Take a deep breath in. And we're going to end up on a close. So we're uh, going to ask Creator to wrap you in a safe, sacred container of love and light that has the capacity to seal these vibrations in to the degree that is appropriate for your own spiritual growth and evolutionary state. We ask the angelic realm of love and light to send all relevant, appropriate, energetic information to everybody about how to stabilize, balance, and harmonize all of these energies today so that nobody goes into any energetic fallout or wigginess that I have to deal with later. <laughs> and we thank the angelic realm for your service and assistance and to all of you for having the courage to move into greater states of alignment with your soul, with your essence, to be a part of the change and the shift in the world as we all grow and evolve. Let it be so. Oh. Thanks for joining us, you guys. If you found this helpful, I would really appreciate some comments below and let me know. Um, and we'll keep you posted on any further um, group events or healings that we do.